just to conclude, uh, if the person wants to learn Sanskrit nowadays, what this person should do? Exactly, knowing a teacher, so on. Actually, <laughs> if a person wanted to know, wanted to learn Sanskrit, he should know that why he is learning Sanskrit. This is a very important matter. Before learning a language, why I wanted to learn that language? Maybe because he wanted to learn spiritual science, then he should learn Sanskrit in such a way that he should understand the spiritual science. So he has to set his mind learning Sanskrit for that. Simply if he learn Vyakarana and learn a lot of things, and if he does not know which science he is going to apply it, then Sanskrit learning will be a big problem. And as far as once again I am telling, learning Ashtadhyayi of Pavanini needs a lot of time. Even a person who lives in this culture, if he wants to learn it perfectly, it needs years. So, time is the biggest problem among the people. So, what they should do? First, they should decide which subject they are really interested in learning. And they have to learn that Sanskrit through that subject, then Sanskrit learning for them will be very perfect and very less. If they download so much Sandhis, Samasas from the internet and they started learning and they started applying it for the science they are learning, they will be misguided. So, for example, the person wants to learn Bhagavad Gita or certainly, Yoga Sutra. Certainly, certainly. The <coughs> most appropriate is to have a Sanskrit teacher that is also knowledge in that knowledge science. In no in that doubt sense. in that one. No doubt in that one. No doubt. It is very much needed. Then only he can explain that uh, thing according to that. The context. Yes, the, certainly, certainly. The purpose there. Certainly, certainly. So otherwise, he... otherwise, you should have that much time to learn all aspects of Ashtadhyayi, Panini Grammar, and then learning your... We are lacking time. With a <laughs> small time, we have to learn so many things. So, what to do? So, better to learn language through that particular subject in which he wanted to so master it all. it might that. be a problem that a person do a kind of Sanskrit master in the West. Yeah. And he thinks that he can understand any, any Impossible. books Impossible. Of, uh, Impossible. just because he knows Sanskrit. Impossible. Impossible. Okay. Impossible. You know. See, see <laughs> I, I'm explaining Ashtangaradaya first chapter to Thiago because 16 years I worked in Ayurveda College. My degree was in Sanskrit from university. As such, I told you, my degree was from a university. It's a formal degree, whatever be Sahitya if I'm learning, I will learn Sahitya alone, I will not be touching. But in Calicut University, we have a chance to learn Shat Darshanas of the basics of Shat Darshanas. So, I have learned it. And 16 years I worked in Ayurveda College. Then I started reading the textbook using my complete knowledge with the Ayurvedic doctors and with the Ayurvedic students. Then I understood the textbook. Then I started explaining the textbook to others. Immediately after my post-graduation course, uh, if, I, if anybody asks, can you teach Ashtangarudaya? I have to say, I don't know, I am sorry. Because my education is not fit to explain that. Literature, if you ask, Kalidasa's one poem you ask me to explain, I will explain. Because it is being once again, the language is being compartmentalized when you are learning in university education. But if you learn Vyakarana, Ashtang, Diyai, as per the Gurugula education, Whatever be the science you bring in front of him, he will explain. Because Atadhyayi will be taught in such a way that you can use that language for any subject. That education is lost. Really lost. India lost its real treasure. No doubt in that. No doubt. But we are studying. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt. We, are we, we can improve it. We can improve Lifelong study. Yeah, yeah. You need it. Lifelong study. You should not get bored and you should not fix a small time for learning this much big science. Then it is certainly possible, certainly possible. So, um, today our beloved teacher came here as, uh, just to say uh, hello for us. He actually does not live here. He is. Uh, the point is that now we have a relation that we are studying weekly by internet. And for the first time, I came uh, after we started studying. I came here in India, and uh, I went there to meet him and to study him, with him. But 
what I think it's important to to finish this session is Sanskrit learning, Vedic learning, is going beyond a teacher-student relation. It's going through a father-son relation. The Guru Shisha system is I respect him as a teacher, but I also admire him as a person. It's not only a point of, I'm going to pay you the fees and this is the service that you are going to render me. If I don't like the result of the service, I will look for another teacher. So Vedic studies depends on blessing of divine conscious gods, whatever. For you to have a relation with a person, a teacher, a guru that you admire, <coughs> and when he says, you're studying too little, Tiago, <laughs> you say, sorry, yes, sorry I'll do better. <laughs> because he's interested in my development. He is not interested only for me to pass in exams <coughs> and having grades. He's interested in uh, the preservation of the culture. So if you have any kind of teacher, that you establish this relation, go your life with this person, because this will have the time for us to study the Bhagavad Gita, <laughs> the Yoga Sutras, and so on. Okay. And what? Okay. Mm. Please. Two words. Two words. My humble request is, teacher-student relation should not be a relation of a sales executive and a customer. Teacher is not a sales executive to sell knowledge. Teacher is, student is not a customer to pay it and get it. Indian culture always says, Sahana vavatu, sahano bhunaktu, sahavidyam karavavahai, te jasmina vadhi tamastuma vishavahai. That sloka is very, very important that we to learn, we to put effort, we should never get, have enmity between us. You see the beauty of that one, we to learn. Not only the student is learning, I'm not an instructor to teach you, we both are learning. So, <laughs> yeah, this is a very, very, very important fact has to be remembered by the whole world. Whether it is Indian culture or whatever it may be, this message should be spreaded everywhere, every place, the knowledge level will be different and all the culture will be protected. India is trying to protect its culture nowadays, there are so many youngsters, they are coming forward. The time is the biggest issue and the global demand is another issue. That may be the reason. The beautiful sciences of its beautiful depth are missing. May be brought up again by the young generations and uh, the people like Tiago. Uh, I, I am really proud because Tiago speak a lot about Ayurveda, even Charaga Samhita, Susro Samhita and etc. And I feel very happy that even the BMS students, sometimes 10% uh, of my students may not be able to do this much. Because he has that desire to learn. We'll call it as Jiknyasa. Actually, Jiknyasa is just like Pipasa. How the thirst is, without drinking water, you cannot put off the thirst. Hunger you may be able to, but thirst you can never. Jiknyasa is like that. If you wanted to learn something, without knowing that, you cannot stop your that Jiknyasa. Same with Tiago, I found some quality in him. And I used to, being an Indian teacher, we usually scold the children, we usually beat the children, taking the advantage as we are the parents of them, brother of them, sister of them, everything of them. Maybe because of that blood in me, I used to scold him also in between when he is not studying, forgetting his age, forgetting his culture, forgetting his system and etc. Maybe because I am a teacher, true teacher over there, or I am a true friend of him or true father of him or true brother of him, indiscriminative of age and culture. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sahana Bhavatu, Sahana Bhunaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejas Vinavadi Tamastu, Avid Vishavahai, Om Purnamada Purnamidam, Purnat Purnamadachate, Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnam Eva Vashishate Om Guru Brahma Guru Vishnu Guru Devo Maheshwaraha 
गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्मा श्री गुरवे नम ओ शांति 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 श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हरि ओम Thanks for the nature, for the sun, <laughs> not for the rain. <laughs> Thanks for the wonderful wife cameraman that is recording. <laughs> Thanks for the lakes. <laughs>